Yeah, I'm tired of seeing that gray wall, so I'm giving you a little bit of new scenery. Hmm. I wash my hair in my kitchen sink. So, you know, washing these twists. Oh, and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Miss Shay Shante. Welcome. And if not, thank you for tuning back in. I appreciate you. In this video, I will be showing you how I wash my mini twists. So I installed these twists on June 25th and today is July 25th. So it has officially been one month. And let me tell you, my scalp is screaming, okay? So I need to wash my scalp. My goal with this style is to keep it in as long as I can past two months so I still have at least another four weeks before I'm really gonna be on the struggle bus if you don't know already I do have scalp psoriasis so you know scalp care is very important to me first I'm just going to show you what my scalp is looking like right now don't judge me I'm struggling life will be sweet again so sweet actually it looks a lot better than I thought it looks a lot better than it feels, I should say. It was over here behind my ear, over here, that I was experiencing like a lot of flakes and builds up and plaque, like a psoriasis plaque. I don't know if it's still there because I kind of tried to remove it. I know there's build up in the back of my head because I can feel it. I can feel it. In order to avoid putting too much weight or tension on the twists themselves, I'm just going to section off my hair into four. I always like to partition off my hair into four sections. Like, you know, I got that permanent, permanent four parts in my head. Yeah. I'm just going to use some rubber bands. Now, when doing this, I'm not going to make it tight. I'm going to put it about right here so that I'm able to get in there like so and wash. This is just to help keep the twists out of the way and avoid them from getting too heavy because of the water. Just a rubber band like so, about halfway down. And you can do this with any style, especially if you have a longer or bigger twists. When those get wet, Mm -mm. So this is a really good method for any individual extensions that you may have where you need to wash your hair. This is what I'll be using to pour the actual water on my scalp. My handy dandy hair cup. Do this in the kitchen sink, on your bathroom sink if it's big enough. Because like I said, we're trying to avoid getting the actual twists drenched because one, it makes them heavy. Two, it takes forever to dry. As you're washing, the soap itself will run down the hair at some point and that is what will cleanse the, the twists themselves. Focus on the scalp. To wash, I will be using... Ooh, this thing is dirty. Sorry, y'all. But I'll be using the Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo. This stuff is amazing. It is a clarifying shampoo. If you don't know get you some. Let's get into washing this scalp. So I start by filling my cup with water and while bent over the sink, I hold one of the sections taut while pouring the water directly onto my scalp. Next, I take some shampoo and while still holding the section taut, I massage the shampoo into my scalp for about three to five minutes. I really want to make sure I remove all the buildup and flakes from my scalp.
Then I put this section up in a hair clip and move on to the next section, repeating those same steps. Now a little bit more about the shampoo. Like I said, I am using the Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo. It is a natural cleansing and clarifying shampoo that is sulfate and paraben free. It helps alleviate dry and flaking scalp. Ingredients include water, of course, glycerin, hydrolyzed wheat protein, vitamin E, and obviously peppermint and tea tree oil. I have been using this shampoo for the last two years and it has done wonders for my scalp. My scalp gets squeaky clean without my hair feeling stripped. Plus, it gives my scalp that magical tingly feeling that I love so much. This method of sectioning off the hair and holding it taut while washing also helps minimize frizziness by reducing the amount of friction you put on the twists. I talk a bit more about reducing frizziness in my curl and style video for these twists, which I will link up above and down below in the description box. Once I have applied shampoo to each section, I will take them down one at a time and rinse out the shampoo. Like before, I fill my cup and while holding the hair taut, I pour the water onto my scalp over the sink. I rinse each section at least 10 times. You want to keep pouring the water on each section until the water runs clear. And if it doesn't, you may want to do another round of cleansing with the shampoo. Now this step can get a bit messy, so I do suggest having a towel around your shoulders or on the floor by your sink. After rinsing out the sections, I wrap my hair in a large cotton t-shirt to squeeze out the excess water. After about 15 minutes, I remove the t-shirt. And this is what I'm working with. My scalp looks and feels super clean. Rise above the dough, meet all my challenges and search for my strength. I defeat them all, I'm never ever gonna hide no more. To love myself again. Yeah. For all the things I do. Before we move on, do me a quick favor and like this video. Then graciously make your way over to the subscribe button and click that too. I appreciate you. Be sweet again. Now to moisturize. I will be going in with my braid spray and hair oil. First, I spray the braid spray in sections onto my scalp like so. Then I lightly run my fingers through the twists, working it in. I also apply the oil in sections as well. I do not apply these products row by row because I don't want to put too much product on my scalp right after cleansing it. If you would like to see my full maintenance routine for these twists, that video will be linked up above and down below, so definitely check it out if you would like to see in detail how I moisturize my twists. Once I apply the oil, I lightly massage my scalp and run my fingers through the twists again, working the products in some more.
step is optional, but if you would like to speed up the drying process and stretch your hair at the roots a bit, you can blow dry your hair on cool using the tension method. So what I do is I hold a section of my hair and run the blow dryer on my roots while holding the section taut. Lastly, I spray a bit of my moisturizing hair spritz all over the twists and work it in. Then I'm done. And that's it! That is my wash day routine for my mini twist. Please like the video if you learned something new or want to try this wash technique with your next protective style. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any additional tips or tricks that you use in your wash day that might be helpful. I'd love to hear about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. God bless.